that scripture in Matthew chapter 24 where Jesus asked the question who really is the faithful and discreet slave goes on to describe the situation immediately before his uh, imminent arrival and this is what it says Jesus Christ said but if ever that evil slave should say in his heart my master is delaying and should start to beat his fellow slaves and should eat and drink with the confirmed drunkards who are the confirmed drunkards those who are not trembling at Jehovah's commandments the master of that slave will come on a day that he does not expect and in an hour that he does not know and will punish him with the greatest severity and will sign him his part with the hypocrites there is where his weeping and the gnashing of his teeth will be so remember what it said in Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 5 it said that they were saying may Jehovah be glorified and so these brothers who are hating their righteous brothers because they tremble at God's commandment believe that they are the ones who are properly glorifying Jehovah and yet they are the same ones who will be brought to shame and so it echoes the very same feeling that this scripture in Matthew chapter 24 says they are the ones who will be found weeping and gnashing their teeth when Jesus Christ arrives and so when Jesus Christ does arrive what will he find he will find that righteous men who are trembling at Jehovah's commandments will have been spiritually beaten and excluded from inside his kingdom by their evil brothers when Jesus Christ arrives he really will find an evil slave and a faithful slave but who really is the faithful slave are they the ones inside the kingdom excluding their righteous brothers or are they the ones who are now outside the camp outside the gates of the holy city who have been excluded just because they were showing loyalty to Jehovah's commandments and to his appointed king his son Jesus Christ and so the things that Jesus Christ said would happen to his own kingdom at the time of the end the things he said in the Bible and all those things he warned us about are really happening they're happening right now this historical evidence complete with scriptural support that everything Jesus Christ warned us about is really happening and so a lot of people don't realize this and that's why I wrote a book a book for Jehovah's Witnesses and for the entire rest of the world the book is called Jehovah's Witnesses the Bible report where possible in the venue that you're watching this video I'll put a link to a place where you can obtain this book you really do need to read it you need to understand the things that are actually happening inside of God's true kingdom exactly according to the way Jesus Christ said it would please get the book read it it means your life it means your personal salvation you need to understand with a little help from this book what is actually happening at the time of the end the final part of the days the conclusion of this system of things.